So I thought I was recording, but I wasn't, so now I have to redo the whole thing. I am a failure. Hi guys, it's Ella. So I have a tag video for you today. It is a quick one. It is the Christmas in July book tag. I was tagged by the creator, Carla, over at Books and Other Nerdy Things. I will link her video, the original video, down below, so definitely go and check that out. So the first question is Santa on the Beach. What wintry read have you read during the summer? And for that, I have Frostfire by Amanda Hawking. This is a spin-off series from the Trill trilogy. And this is, this takes place in Canada. Um, it is a different tribe of trolls. And it is pretty interesting. I'm actually reading this right now and it's obviously summer. So that counts. Um, so this is my wintry read. The next question is Elves Tanning. What fictional world would you like to visit on vacation? And for that, I have Invaded by Melissa Landers. This book, half of this book takes place on another planet, like a fictional planet. Um, the planet is called Loire, Lair? I don't know, but it's pretty cool. I would definitely not mind going on vacation into outer space. I mean, that would be pretty cool, right? Right. Right. Number three is Melting Snowmen, and that is a book that made you cry that you would reread. And for that, I have Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows by J.K. Rowling. This is the last book in the Harry Potter series, in case anybody doesn't know that. I love this book so much. I wept. I mean, Dobby, for one, cried like a baby. And then I open at the close. Heartbreaking. I love this book so much. Honestly, I don't like to pick Harry Potter books for a lot of these tags, but there wasn't really one that I could think of that I've cried while I was reading and that I'd want to reread, so Harry Potter it is. Number four is Christmas Lights on the House, still. And that's what book have you put off reading? And for that, I have The Book Thief by Marco Zusak. I will not lie, I'm ter terrified to read this book. I know that a lot of people say that it is a great book and it is definitely worth reading. And I really enjoy books that take place during World War II. I am just afraid to read it, so I've been putting it off. I know, I know, I know. So I will read it probably later rather than sooner, but I'll, I'll get to it. I'll get to it, I promise. And finally is Box of Ornaments, a book you've read that you've tried to hide from others. And for that, I have no book because I am not a fan in any way, shape or form of reader shaming or anything like that. I know a lot of people enjoy different kinds of books, so I don't think it's right to be ashamed of what you like to read or to shame others based on what they like to read. So, and I read such a wide variety of things, starting with children's books all the way to romance and erotica, so I'm not ashamed of anything that I read, I'm sorry. Uh, maybe that's not the usual answer, but it is what it is. So I hope you enjoyed this tag, I hope you check out Carla's video down below. Let me know what some of your answers to these questions would be in the comments below, and I hope you have a good night, and I will see you soon. Bye!